meeting will be recorded, right, Jeff? Yes, sir, it's being recorded. Okay, let's start this meeting. Uh, good evening, good evening all again uh, for this reconstruction meeting. Just for information, this meeting it will be recorded and will be uploaded in CITI's uh, YouTube channel for future viewing. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please uh, use the chat box. And if you also, you have also get a chance after the meeting to ask your questions by unmuting yourself. Please, during the meeting, please mute yourself to avoid the echo. Let's start. This is the Como Area Street Resurfacing Project Reconstruction Meeting. It's a street maintenance project done by the Transportation and Public Works Department. Today's agenda is the uh, here project overview, existing conditions, uh, project scope. I will let you know the schedule. At the end of the presentation, we'll answer the questions. Uh, this is the brief overview. Like uh, my name is Tariq Islam. I will be the project manager. Uh, it is an inspector for this project will be James Ruiz. Uh, Texas Beat is the contractor of this project. And uh, the construction cost of this project is approximately $923,000 and $570. Well, we have few other people also attended this meeting from uh, TPW. Uh, from contractors as well. Uh, I'm not going through uh, to introduce all of them. Uh, this is the project map. We have few streets in this project. Uh, like here, the, all the red marks. Uh, the previous street is one of the major streets in this project. We have uh, the limit from Hutton to Vickery Boulevard. Uh, little page, we have uh, two sections of little page, uh, one from Kenbui to Kilpatrick, and another one is from Lippi to Humber. Uh, we have a um, Car Carver Drive from Harvey uh, to Ferron, uh, but uh, lately we have a little change in the limit of our projects. So we have a fair room to horn it will be done, but not under this project. It will be done under a different project uh, within this same time frame. And we have a chariot drive as well from Victory to Horn. Here's some pictures of the existing condition of the streets. Uh, you'll see the existing asphalt streets have a lot of cracks, some, some alligator cracks, uh, some base failures. We have picked the streets for mostly milling and overlay. This is the process we normally do for HMAC projects. If the street is not that bad, we'll mill uh, the two inches of the streets and put like a new asphalt two inch overlay. Uh, this is kind of street uh, in the in, in this area, like here, the covered street. Uh, we will adopt a different procedure than Milan overlay. We'll call it uh, pulverization overlay or POL. Uh, it is an extensive uh, procedure. We will dig out this pro street for around 10 inch and um, pulverized material, adding uh, cement to it. And after compaction, we'll put back the asphalt paving on top of it. There are some existing um, flat work needs to be done here. You see uh, all those damaged carbon girders, uh, missing driveways, and also you'll see some non-compliant uh, existing ramp on this uh, on the streets. Our scope would be replacing the damaged carbon girder, damaged driveway approaches, and non-compliant curb ramps, 
and finally the the roadway is surfacing. After completing the projects, here are some example from other projects. It will look like this: new asphalt overlay uh, with uh, new carbon girder wires applicable, new driveways, and non-compliant car brands like in this picture uh, with uh, ADA compliant dome tiles. Uh, during constructions, some uh, impacts will be there. Uh, some equipment will will be around construction sites, uh, so there will be some limited parking availability. There's some dust sounds, so this is normal for any construction projects. But we will try our best to minimize those construction impact. Uh, enough signage will be placed um, around the sites for. Uh, for is, is there any uh, lane closer or road closer, temporary road closer, it will be notified ahead of time. Uh, the residents will get notified through door hangers uh, for, for upcoming projects, you know, upcoming lane closers, something like that. Uh, no equipment will be staged uh, on the road um, uh, to block the uh, residents' access. So all access uh, should be open. All driveways should be open. Maybe in some cases during paving work, uh, we may close the road for temporarily. Uh, but enough, uh, as I said, the enough uh, advance warning will be there, and people will be communicated ahead of time uh, about that closure. Here is the schedule. Uh, we anticipate to start construction in March 15. And construction will hopefully be end by August 2022. We don't have the detailed project schedule at this time. So, but uh, I will, we will have uh, this one in the beginning the, before the start construction. If we, anybody have uh, any specific question regarding the schedule, Please contact uh, me. Um, we will definitely let you know when your street will be closed or when the lane will be closed uh, in your area. Uh, here's my contact information. Again, my name is Tariq Islam and this is my phone number. This is my email address. You can reach out to me in uh, any time before construction or during construction. Now, the question time. If anybody has any question, please, uh, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. No questions. Then we are good. All right. So thank you all for attending this meeting. Uh, this will be uploaded in uh, City's website or City's uh, YouTube channel. If you can review it or view it in a later time. Thank you all.